A delegation of Youngstown City leaders will head to the state capitol tomorrow. The group will make its case for more money to address the city of Youngstown's ongoing battle to fight blight caused by abandoned and foreclosed homes. 21 News reporter Michelle Nix explains why the funding for demolition is so desperately needed. Rose Hardy takes pride in keeping up her property and the place she calls home on Youngstown's north side. But she fears the recent rash of abandoned properties popping up in her neighborhood are destroying the true value of her home. There's one across the street boarded up. There's one boarded up there. And uh, there's one over there. It's about five, five houses boarded up over here. And even Hardy's watchdog can't calm her biggest concern. I be scared. A lot of time I be scared. With a record number of foreclosures and abandoned properties, the average price of a home has dropped. Neighboring homes that may have sold for $119,000 last year are selling for only about $89,000 this year, according to some real estate agents. We are seeing homes selling, but they have to be meticulously maintained and they have to be priced right. And uh, there is no, there's no doubt that... Uh, that there has been a reduction in, in home values recently. Major reasons why the Mahoning Valley Organizing Collaborative has secured a meeting with state officials to discuss why more money is desperately needed to address Youngstown's foreclosure and vacant property crisis and how that funding is a strategic investment in the city's revitalization efforts. There are currently 4,500 vacant homes in the city, including more than 2,000 foreclosed upon. The lieutenant governor, who I spoke to personally a couple of weeks ago, has committed to searching for some type of assistance to provide Youngstown since we did not receive funding in the second round of the neighborhood stabilization uh, program. But Mayor Williams tells me money is also desperately needed from the private sector to help tear down the blight and build for Youngstown's future. With more local news, I'm Michelle Nix.